hello everyone uh, welcome to achievers talks by ace engineering academy i am hazrat wali faculty here at ace academy today we are excited to have a casual and inspiring chat with uh, indu krishna like who is our student who secured an impressive all india rank 26th in the mechanical engineering paper let's dive into her journey let's let's we know what are what are her experiences how he what are the strategies she has followed to achieve that much great rank okay we'll discuss everything in this casual talk itself so welcome indu krishna hi sir thank you yes yes first of all congratulations indu krishna for achieving such a great rank uh, in uh, gate mechanical engineering paper thank you sir thank you so sir. how are you feeling now i'm feeling good good uh, how, how your parents are feeling uh, very good very nice good uh, let yeah. briefly introduce yourself okay sir so, uh, so i graduated from bits hyderabad in 2022 uh, okay. and that i've been working at ather energy as a chassis structural engineer okay so during that time only i decided to give gate also as a backup option okay so i decided to start preparing for gate early in 2024 okay so, yeah i gave it this year Okay, okay. You are from which place? Uh, I'm from Andhra. You are from Andhra. Okay, which, which part of Andhra? Guntur. Guntur. Okay, okay. You are from Guntur. Good, good, good. Good in the like, which means that you have prepared simultaneously while you yes. are working in the company. Yes, yes. It's really great because uh, getting a rank less than 100 is not that much easy. But you have cracked along with working in your company. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a really, congratulate you. I'm really proud of you, first of all. Okay, yeah, I'm really happy that uh, one of our student, uh, because I've seen very rarely the students used to, while working, it's very difficult for them. Yeah, because yeah. gate exam is not that much easy, that to getting rank less than 100 is very difficult. But you have cracked both means really, you are very smart, I can able to say. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, tell me what kind of uh, coaching you have taken from Ace Engineering Academy? I have taken the online live classroom coaching. Okay. So included like live uh, video lectures okay. and then I have also taken the test series for GATE and EAC. Okay, you have written the test series as well as online live classes. Uh, what motivated you to the support from Ace Engineering Academy? Actually, I had taken Ace Engineering coaching in 2022 as well when I had given my first attempt. First so, attempt, offline or online? Uh, online only that time also. Online, okay. Yeah, so I really like the way of uh, teaching in Ace Academy. I've not tried anywhere else, but uh, when I tried Ace, I in Hyderabad it is quite famous. So I ended up taking it, and I really liked the way the lectures were provided. So okay. uh, I did not uh, get a very good rank that time, but okay. I remember. I mean, that was uh, not on the coaching, but like my preparation. I did not have enough time, but I remembered that the video lectures were satisfactory to my needs. Okay. I, I was able to understand most of the concepts that I did not understand from college. So that's why I remembered it from there and I ended up taking the same thing this time as well. Good, good, good. How was your experience with Ace Academy, Indu? My experience has been great. Like uh, uh, online lectures are fine, but like whenever I, since I was working, so most of the times I was not able to uh, attend live lectures. Okay. So I would always watch later and then whenever I had doubt, I would always use that doubt feature on the app and That's I so always good. got uh, like prompt replies, so which, which I really liked because uh, juggling work and then coaching was very difficult yes, but yes, since yes. i had that uh, doubt feature i could always ask at any time so that yeah, there is one of the great future ace academy is providing even here uh, whatever the doubt you ask here not the subject matter aspects will resolve your doubts uh, yes. same note will go to the respected faculties yes like suppose if you are taking suppose if you are taking some other some engineering mechanics subject or fluid mechanics yes, subject, it will go to respected faculty and the faculty he himself will reply you yes, so yes. that he can connect the connect to the students very easily. It's a great feature the Ace Academy live sessions are having. Okay. Yes. yes, I mean you know that Ace Academy means known for the good faculty. Yes. Like, uh, can you please uh, share your experience with the faculties? How the faculties are here? Um, I had a very pleasant experience like whenever I had doubts I've had uh, people call me and explain if I was not able to understand oh, the text. Okay. So all of those things uh, I, I really appreciated those things uh, good, uh, good. since I was working and also doing it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That okay, was let me ask you, which ACE faculty you liked more and you liked the subject more? And I, all? So, heat transfer, Dev sir used to be there. Okay. Uh, so, Dev sir, I have uh, connected with him a lot. And okay. um, 
for uh, abdul bari sir also i have connected with for engineering mechanics okay uh, that's mostly like what uh, i have, i remember you like data yeah, yeah that okay. i did. Okay, let me ask you one more question. Like, uh, before attending the Ace Academy, you might have felt some particular subject is very difficult for you. But after taking the coaching from the Ace Academy, you felt that yes, the subject is quite easy. Uh, you inspired from the faculty and or any such kind of subject is there. Uh, uh, that would be fluid mechanics for me. I always had a lot of issues when uh, I was studying it in college. But again, Abdul Bari sir had uh, taught that subject, and I uh, ended up doing it much earlier in my entire coaching process. Okay. So I took my time with it. I knew fluid mechanics is weak for me. So okay. uh, Abdul Bari sir uh, like uh, explained every topic in in depth, which I liked. Since okay, I've okay. already been three years since I've passed out of yes, college, yes, yes, yes. Did that refresher, and like he covered everything from basics, which I uh, I really appreciated. Good, good, good. What kind of work you are doing in Ather Energy? Uh, so, sir, I'm a chassis structural engineer. So, okay. I do mostly uh, the frame of the vehicle. It's a two wheeler uh, electric okay, vehicle. Okay, okay. So, for, I work on the two wheeler frame. Frame, frame uh, structural components, not frame. Typical mechanical design. Yeah, yeah mechanical okay, design. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yes, did you attend the ACE test series? Ah, uh, yes, I have attended. How it helped you? Uh, so the a lot of the questions. Uh, I mean, it has a good mix of uh, basic questions and also advanced questions, which is uh, very typical of gate. Also, like not every okay. question is very difficult and not every question is very easy. So I felt that that mix was very good in the ACE test series. Okay, okay. Or oh, like, uh, is the level of the question like uh, test series is on par with the actual uh, gate paper? I would say at least Difficulty for this year, and, uh, this year, I felt like the gate paper was very easy. Very easy, yes, yes, yes. All the test series that I have attended. Yes, so, yes. I, I would say like uh, ACE test series are medium level uh, difficult. They are not unnecessarily difficult, which would demotivate somebody. Yes, yes, it's yes. Not yes. very easy also. Uh, so it's a good mix. Yeah, this year typically power is very yeah, easy. Yes. Very easy. How many more? How many marks you scored? Uh, sir, I got eighty-eight point seven. Oh, that's a really good score. How many attempted you attempted? I attempted ninety-five marks. Ninety-five marks. Okay, I think hardly two to three questions were wrong. Yeah. I think. Okay. Okay. I, so, I got uh, all. Uh, I think all one mark question, two marks questions are attempted. Everything I got all right. One mark questions uh, went wrong for me. Okay. Okay. I think okay. I okay. got around five questions wrong. Okay, okay, okay. So on the day of examination, you are saying paper was quite easy. Yeah. How you handled basically? How you handled? Actually, like, I was, I felt the entire time that I was missing something because I finished my paper like uh, with forty or fifty minutes in advance, and I was not able. Oh, is to it? <laughs> I was not able to understand if I missed something or something went wrong. I kept rechecking my paper. Okay. I I just could not believe if that it it was it came so easy. Okay, okay. So I one, had, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, one piece of advice we want to hear from you because you are uh, typically working as well as uh, preparing for the gate exam. Yes. There are so many students out there. They are doing the job at the same time preparing for the gate exam. They want to prepare, but they couldn't able to do it. What kind of advice you can able to give to them so that they can clear very easily? So, so one thing is uh, to understand that since you're working and also studying that. Uh, uh, taking in you should know how much time you will need uh, to prepare like i knew from my last experience i knew that i would need a minimum of one year for yes. sure so i took the coaching in 2023 and i seriously started preparing from 2024 jan and i knew very well that i would need a proper one year so like somebody who is sitting at home and studying 8 9 hours a day we can never match that yes yes my yes my work yes. is also very demanding i am i am in office from morning uh, okay. 10 to evening 7 sometimes 8 o'clock so yes. that I cannot crunch, like if I'm giving some time to work, I have to continue giving that. So I knew that at best I could study four to five hours a day uh, okay. properly with discipline. So I I tried to take as much time as I can. So I took the coaching in 2023 in November and I okay. started uh, properly uh, studying for it in Jan. So if somebody is doing it with work, they need to be conscious that since they, their major chunk of time is going to work, they have okay. to make sure that they're, they're starting earlier than others. Okay. How you manage, ma'am? Like uh, both the things together, how you manage basically? Uh, I, so I had a, so I... What is a typical day? Typical day for you? A typical day would be, I would wake up around 6.30 every okay. day. 
from 6.30 to around 9 o'clock, I always uh, studied. So generally, um, uh, what I felt was watching live lecture was taking a lot of time for me. So I yeah. would always watch them later at 1.5x speed or 2x speed. So that okay. saved a lot of time for me. So I would do that. And I did not spend a lot of time uh, making notes in the first go. So first time I would always listen to the lecture. And then uh, I would read from the ACE material and then I would make notes uh, separately. Okay. So make, watching lecture and then also making notes, it, that uh, entire process took a lot of time. Yes, I yes, understood yes. this initially, so I changed it. I would always concentrate on the lectures. I would do questions. And then while doing questions, I understood what the important topics are or what the important formulas are. So okay, I always okay. kept a note of them. So I would keep uh, revising them. So typical day would be morning, uh, 6.30 to 9 o'clock, I would study and then I would go to office. And then after coming back from 8 o'clock to around 11.30ish, I would study every day. Okay. So, and then I would go to sleep. So really, really hats off, ma'am. Hats off, really hats off uh, for your effort. Now, it is not that much easy after coming back from the office after 8 o'clock. Again, preparing means very difficult itself. Uh, but you have really done a fantastic job. I'm really happy that our student has uh, performed like this. Uh, so one more thing, ma'am. Have you prepared the short notes? Yes, I have. So I had a lot of notes from my first attempt. I okay. Even though it was three years ago, I never really threw away my In notes. 2022, yet. online to coaching, you took offline. Uh, yeah, online, online. Online, I think I was there at the time. Uh, yes, yes, that time I had learned uh, strength of materials from Strength you. of materials, yes, 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 I think. Theory of I machines remember. also, you had taken both subjects. Yes, 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 yes. So that time I had actually spent a lot of time watching lectures and making notes. So a lot of those notes came handy Help to me. You. So this time, I think uh, there were very few uh, subjects where I had to make notes again. Okay. So what I did was I, I always, uh, in my first or second uh, uh, revision, I made long notes. So from okay. that, uh, I took one entire revision session just to make short notes. Like I okay. always had a formula sheet where it's like a fill in the blanks thing I used to have. So I would uh, keep fill in the blanks where I would keep uh, every week I would take one subject and I fill in the blanks for all the formulas. Okay, so okay. I okay. tried that for like a few months. So that way, uh, I memorized a lot of formulas by February, good. really. You so are doing that's... really fantastic. Good, good, good. What's your future plans, ma'am? What's your future plans? So I have applied at IISC for a master's program in okay. robotics and mechanical. So uh, not I... interested in PSUs? Uh, so in PSUs, I'm only interested in BARC, ISRO and DRDO. Okay. I'm not applying anywhere else because my existing job is pretty good. So okay. it does not make sense for me to leave it for any of the other PSUs. These are the only PSUs that I really want to go to. Okay, so, okay. So I mainly have need to PSUs. pursue MTech at IITs and all. Uh, not IITs also. I'm, I have only applied for IISC. IISC. So, yes, that's all. Uh, so you are most interested in the research side. Yes. Suppose if you get into IISC, MTech, definitely you will definitely get. Yeah. And you get into Bark and Isro, which one you prefer? So, um, for me, as of now, BARC is at a higher priority. So, okay. if I get into BARC, I mean, the interview is very difficult. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Not very difficult to see. If you prepare our class notes and if you prepare for the gate exam properly, you can crack any technical interview anywhere in the world, I am telling, not in India. Because the gate exam is, gate syllabus is completely core technical subjects itself. Uh, thermodynamics, strength of material, fluid mechanics. Uh, so, wherever you go, only these things are required. Yeah. Sarma, if you are good at these concepts, definitely you are good. That is the reason you got a good rank. Okay, if you are focused on this one, you will definitely be able to crack any interview. So, okay. if everything goes right, then Bark is my top priority. But otherwise, I am pretty happy if I get into IISC. IISC. Good, good, good. Uh, wish you all the best, uh, Hindu, from Ace Academy. I hope really Ace Academy has helped you a lot uh, during your preparation. Yes, yes. And I'm really happy that uh, you have simultaneously managed both the things and achieved this much rank. So definitely the students will take the like sessions from you. Okay. The wish you all the best for your future and uh, convey my best wishes to your parents also. They have really supported you. Where your parents used to stay in Guntur uh, itself? No, no, they stay in Hyderabad. Hyderabad itself. Good. You are basically, your proper is from Guntur. Uh, it is from Gundur, but I'm settled in Hyderabad. Settled in Hyderabad itself. Really, hats off to your parents also to like, uh, it's not that much easy, ma'am. That is the reason I'm telling here. So uh, hats off to them. They're supporting you a lot and all. Wish you all the best, Hindu Krishna. And we will meet in the success meet. Definitely, you must come. Maybe next time, next month, we're going to connect the success meet. We'll meet again, definitely. Okay? Yes, yeah, sir. wish you all the best, Hindu Krishna. Thank you so much. Okay? Yes, yes.